Question number 79. Consider the following statements. In India, the Biodiversity Management Committee are key to the realization of the objectives of Nagoya Protocol. Second, the Biodiversity Management Committees have important functions in determining access and benefit sharing, including the power to levy collection fees on the access of biological resource within its jur jurisdiction. So which of the following statements given above is or are correct? So I have given three sources. One is an article that was published on Hindu. Then one another article from Frontline magazine. Then another article from The Wire. We will see what, the, what these links are. sorry so this is the first link so it says government to strengthen biodiversity management committees in local bodies so here it uh, it's a it's an article that was published on february 2023 that is before prelims during our preparation phase so the state government is planning to add teeth to the biodiversity management committees in local bodies to make them generate income by levying fees for access to bio resources for commercial purpose under the jurisdiction through the implementation of access and benefit sharing program. So here it says biodiversity management. Um, um, so biodiversity management committees involves in uh, levying fees uh, and um, uh, levying fees uh, for access to bio uh, bio resources for commercial purpose under the. Uh, ABS program. So again, in uh, here it's also say the idea of ABS was cemented in the Nagoya protocol, which was adopted in 2010. Uh, the Biodiversity Act 2002 and Rules 2004 provide for regulated access to bio resource for commercial utilization and fair and equitable sharing of benefits in India. So local communities have nurtured genetic diversity. So it uh, talks about that mm, here. Um, Uh, even um, with its rich biological uh, resources and associated traditional knowledge, Kerala has not been able to make the most of the ABS system, which it intends to correct by empowering BMCs. So um, that is what uh, it's written here. So um, most of the points uh, connected to the question gets answered in this article. But let's see uh, the second one. So if you see the second one was corporate control over biodiversity that's what this new bull bill would like to see so if you see it was published on may 2022 during our preparation phase so this is probably the reason why the question uh, came in the prelims paper in the first place so here what what is happening is biodiversity there was a biodiversity amendment bill and which was discussing um, various provisions in the new bill uh, so uh, you should be very familiar with uh, the changes that that uh, that are proposed and what was the existing conditions and all so you see in this article it is uh, here you, if you can read the bda has been ignored not only by successive government but also by civil society groups and people movements the implementation was limited largely to setting up of state biodiversity boards and national biodiversity authority um, the common defining character of the boards which are essentially manned by office of deputation from forest department is the lack of staff and finance the situation with respect to biodiversity management committees and people um, biodiversity registers were more was more dismal the bmc formed the foundation of the bda since they are responsible for preparing and validating people's uh, biodiversity register and utilizing the abs fees abs is um, here um, access benefit sh sharing right um, when we sh um, access and benefit sharing uh, so BDA is, uh, it, it clearly says BDA uh, is, uh, uh, is responsible for validating the PBR and utilizing ABS fees and uh, so it says all this changed with two legal developments that took place after 2016. First is the strong and continuous oversight by National Green Tribunal since 2016, which led to the setting up of BMCs in each and every local body. 
so as of as of date there are 2,76,836 BMCs in India so um, implementation of the third pillar of the act that is fair and equitable sharing of benefits i could held that all entities indian or foreign are required to pay fees under the abs mechanism so it, it is discussing uh, all that important point and if you uh, come to the amendment bill uh, says amendment was introduced to address concern raised by stakeholders representing the sectors of indian system of medicine seed industry and research and to reduce compliance burden so uh, principal aim of the amendment bill is to facilitate ease of doing business for those sectors dependent on biological resources so they are uh, trying to under the existing act they any entity with any non indian participation or for, or, or foreign association including in share capital and management even if incorporated registered in india will have to take prior approval from the nba before obtaining any biological resource or knowledge associated there there to for any research uh, commercial uh, commercial utilization bio survey and bio utilization however the amendment will limit access only to foreign companies that are incorporated outside india the say foreign company including multinational and transnational corporations will no longer be considered a foreign company if it is registered in india similarly a company registered in india with foreign shareholders and foreign nurse in management position will will also not require prior approval from the nba to obtain biological resources this will open the floodgates to the use of indian biological resource by large corporate entities so it is criticizing that amendment uh, will uh, it's a long article it has a lot of relevant points that you could uh, even uh, take note for uh, mains so th that is one and then why amendment amendments to india's biodiversity acts needs a public debate the law does warrant a review but the changes proposed cannot focus only on selective realizing india's international commitments or responding to concerned industry it's another article uh, that appeared on wire so if you see here um, so it talks about will also introduce exemptions from adherence to procedures for access and benefit sharing uh, registered i should write um, so uh, yeah the so this point cbd's 2010 nagoya protocol the international regime on abs lays down that access to biological resource should be re reciprocated with the sharing of benefits that accrue from such access so this point is discussed in detail so so yeah you can read this article also you can uh, it does have a lot of points um so this amendment bill um, uh, put bio biodiversity biological diversity act in um, news and uh, the bio uh, especially in this um, some um, many points connected to biodiversity management committees were also discussed in news so this is the reason why uh, this question appeared in the prelims so after going through the articles you can clearly easily answer this question so key to realization you know, this is true biodiversity management committees have important functions in determining access and benefit sharing including the power to levy collection fees on the access of biology this is also true so uh, you can easily answer this question from these sources moving on to the next question 